Today, we are heading to a very special place indeed. We're going to a place called Castle Stalker. Now, if you follow me on social media, I have really recently released a shot of this location. It's kind of inspired me. Is it better at sunrise or sunset? One thing that is for sure, only time will tell. And here we are. Uh, conditions, pretty good, pretty good. Not a huge amount of clouds in the sky, the perfect amount over towards Fort William Way, but over by Castle Stalker, it's a pretty blue sky, but I'm hoping that them clouds are traveling towards us. Um, the chances of getting light though are strong so there's one good thing about having fewer clouds and that is more chances of light. The light's still a bit far away though but I have got the moon which is going to be interesting. So to find out which is better at this location sunrise, sunrise versus sunset so far sunset there was more clouds in the sky but that isn't about location that's just about conditions. Um, and why I think it'll be better at sunrise versus sunset, especially in winter, we'll talk about a bit later. So we've made it down. There's uh, a couple of things I've noticed. First of all, we're at high tide. Um, so I haven't got that beautiful old tram rails going out without this block of concrete in the way, which is a massive shame, but I can work with it because I can use that as my leading line. That can be my foreground interest. Um, I've also got, like I said before, the setting, the setting, uh, setting moon. Got Pauline over here. She could be a, a bit of interest sitting on the end if she'd, you know, if I asked very nicely, I'm sure. Uh, the clouds are over this way, but coming from which way the wind is blowing, I'm gonna say they're coming this way as well. So at some point I am gonna end up with clouds behind. But what I'm trying to focus on, first of all, is a composition that involves getting low, tight, and involves the castle and only the castle really. Maybe this mountain here behind, that might work. One thing that is happening up here is we're leaving the wind behind and then we're starting to get a nice reflection of the castle. And these leaves down here, all frozen, they make really nice, beautiful interests and intricate patterns. Like, look when you get in real close. So maybe I'll get a tight shot of that as well. So something I noticed in my last shot, and here's my last shot, was the castle was wonky. And distortion in a wide angle lens is very common. But it looks ugly. It looks really ugly on a wide angle lens. It looks like it's leaning over to the right, isn't it? So maybe it was not the distortion of my lens. Maybe that's just the castle. Um, so I'm just gonna get it into camera mode and then let's have a little look at what I am capturing. And always you've got to remember that I have got that little bit more on this side over here. So it's not cut off. Um, but I've got it coming in from the bottom right, coming around across into this little bit here. Reflection of the castle in the center not too much headroom above, so it's no uncomfortableness, but I have got a nice balanced image. And I've got this swirl leading your eye through into the scene, and most importantly, that reflection. And I think it's a nice, solid first shot. So, so far, this morning is winning. But maybe that's because I had more time. I don't know. But I'm gonna get that shot now. It's a nice image. It looks like a nice image, check it out.
the tide has dropped, conditions are good, Alpen Glow is on, what to have as a leading line. So I've got the shot all lined up and I've centralised the moon up above and I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's have a little look, see, see what you think. Um, okay. So yeah, I've centralised that moon up above. It should just be up here. Yep. And then I've got the mountain on this side, the castle on this side. I've lost the colour in this cloud now. It's, it's gone. Um, but I have got the pontoon coming in this way. So the idea is you go up, up, up with your eyes and then you can come back over here and then see the rest of what the scene is all about. Okay, so this first shot, that is gonna be the, um, the for the sky and the highlights. And then I'm gonna raise that exposure for that immediate foreground and where I'm starting to get the tram lines under the water also pointing towards that castle. So Pauline spotted a composition over this way and has told me that it is definitely worth the trip. So we're going to go on a bit of a, a walk, a bit of a mission at speed, and hopefully we're not going to miss this change later. Um, but I've been told it has reflections, it has drama, it has Alpen glow in the background, which it does right now. And I want it. So I'm thinking I've got the scene right here. And what I've been trying to find is the balance between the mountain this side, the cloud, and the moon all the way up above. Okay, so again, because it's not a flat scene, I have got them highlights up in the sky and on the mountain, and I've got the shadows in the castle in the foreground. I don't want them shadows on the castle, but at the moment, there's not really a lot else I can do. So I'm gonna shoot for them highlights on F11, ISO 64, 1 25th of a second. And I'm just gonna fire that off. The moon is tiny, it's just a, a, but a mere speck in the sky, but them clouds are creating such beautiful interest, it doesn't matter too much. Now, if I can wait here until I get that light on the castle, I've centralised it so I shouldn't have any lean or wonk or distortion. Um, all I can do is hope that the light comes without everything else getting washed out. I just want the top of that castle with a little bit of light on there. That would make this scene really come to life. So once we start getting that light, we'll come back and we'll talk then. The light is almost here, but I have got 3% battery and my camera bag is over there. So I am gonna capture that light and then I will uh, talk about it over there because you're about to die. Not literally, don't worry guys, don't worry. Um, but look at the light, isn't it lovely? For that question, what's better? sunrise or sunsets my experience is if you want a subject lit up like it is right now for this location sunrise is better sunset if you want to have bright vivid colors and light behind the scene backlitting creating silhouettes sunset but that is winter in summer it'll be different again um, why this morning was probably more fruitful than the first time I arrived here is because when I first came here there was it was sunset and the sun was setting so I had very little time to go around find different compositions like I have this morning and I think I've captured three nice images three nice images not exactly how I'd like them um, it took a long time for the sun to light up that castle which was a massive shame really, because it meant that I lost all that color in the sky and the alpine glow on the mountains. Um, but I'm guessing that's gonna be the case for this location 
because of where the hill is, always, unless as summer comes, the sun rises further over towards the east, which I imagine it will. So maybe the summer is the best time to come here and capture it. Maybe. But we'll find out in the summer. Um, but for this morning, I think that is going to be all from me. Um, and the age-old question, sunrises versus sunset. We're the only ones here in the morning, which is always a winner. No one likes filming and vlogging and shooting with lots of other photographers. Not me anyway. So for that reason, I prefer sunrise. I prefer sunrise. But anyway, that is going to be all from me this week. I hope you have a lovely week. And uh, yeah, peace out, peeps. And it's a bye from Pauline. Bye. Ciao.